Hello everybody and welcome back to Rogue Tech where we are ready to deploy. So let's hop into the command center. We're doing pretty okay on funds at this point. So I wouldn't mind maybe something like this defend base mission. This could be very interesting actually. It's decent max salvage. What would we end up getting here? It's no free priority salvage. We do have our financial report coming up very soon. But that's probably okay. We don't have any big expenditures that we know about upcoming here. This is versus the planetary government. So the tech level isn't going to be that fantastic, but it should be relatively simple. So let's give this a go. We don't have our Marauder online yet, but I think we just do this as we are here, except we, of course, want to have our Rifleman 4D and we want to have our Hoplite. So we'll do that. We are going to, let's see, where is Brick? Brick, get in the Hoplite. Okay, Capo is going to be in the Black Knight, and then we wanted Gorgon in the Rifleman? Yes, that is accurate. Okay. So this should be good to go. We can't deploy any more mechs than eight, of course, and we don't have any vehicles as of right now. Not that I'm opposed to getting vehicles, we just haven't gotten any. Yes, I'm aware that the Black Knight and the Rifleman are underweight, and Darius thinks this is going to be difficult, but Darius is probably wrong. I will see you guys after the loading screen. Okay, so here we are all loaded up, and let's see what we've got here. So there'll be a Vanguard, and then they'll probably spawn two-ish additional lances after the Vanguard. So this could be a little bit in terms of how long this one takes. We'll see. So we're in this kind of coastal position here, which is definitely interesting. 50% casualties, yeah, yeah, yeah. So these guys are heading into the escort zone. Where is the Vanguard? The Vanguard is out over this way. This is actually a really good position to drop right here then. I love it. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We are, of course, not in combat here. We have some allied units out over here, including a Fenrir, a Stalker. I would love to get that Stalker. A Hydracoon and a Prowler. And then out over here, we've got the Heavy AC Turret. Standard Treader Turret, Heavy Sniper Turret, and a Heavy AC Turret. Okay, so that's all well and good. But of course, we need to engage out over this way. They've got a Bandersnatch, which is, I believe, a Marauder variant. They've got a Frankie. Okay. They've got a Rifleman and a Wolverine. So that's three heavies and a medium. So that's absolutely fine. Fine, right? A Frankie is heavy? I'm pretty sure a Frankie is heavy. Not 100% on that, I guess, but we do have spawn protection for the moment, so we're just going to head on Roger down that. over here with our centaur. We should be able to eliminate these fairly swiftly. Okay, so that's, that's the two turret units down there. So that was a Marauder. Okay, that Frankie's moving up, sure. That was a Marauder and, okay, yep, the Hydracoon, whatever. This is a Grasshopper, Mjolnir variant. Okay, that's fine. So our hoplite can position out in the trees here. Well, brace. Looks good. Do we lose our bracing bonus for the artillery if we turn? Because we're not in the correct angle right now. I don't know. We'll find out. For the moment, our Black Knight wants to advance forward as much as it can. No shooting. Just running. We're going to be engaging these guys as quickly as possible. So the Wolverine moves up. That is fine. Our Grasshopper done. is also going to advance as quickly as it can. Hey Next up would be our Crossbow, which can position back in cover over here. And we can just brace for the moment. On you, then Commander. would be our Trebuchet, which is going to do exactly the same thing. Followed by our Shadowhawk, which wants to advance forward. And will soon be replaced. So we don't actually care about protecting it all that much, but it'll still be a decent backup unit. So that Stalker advances. And the Rifleman advances. Okay, yep, this is all standard spawn protection stuff. I'm going to place the Rifleman here for the firing corridor. And we'll just brace it. Okay, so that all looks fine for now. And yeah, that's the turrets there. Okay, so okay, next up, our centaur can get in behind this marauder. What's our actual range here? Can we get behind the Frankie? If we can, the Frankie is likely I've a kill. More likely a kill. 
We can. If we're moving, we can melee the Marauder, though. And get 80 evasive. That's pretty decent. Meleeing the Marauder in the rear arc here, I don't think we necessarily get the kill on it. If we have a very good focused attack, we could. Let's go. To hell with the weapon. We successfully melee. And that Bandersnatch is not happy about this. It's going to become unsteady as well for this. Wow. Okay, so it just got one shot. Okay, we'll take that. That is absolutely great. The Fenrir moves up and doesn't really do anything. The Marauder moves up and fires on the Frankie. It does penetrate the armor there. Wow, we're going to get through this really quick then. So the Frankie is going to go to the other side and fire on our Shadowhawk. That's okay. I'm under heavy fire. We even shot down two of those missiles. So this is his torso. This Frankie is in serious danger. Okay, good Let to know. Go. So our trebuchet is currently here. We don't have a direct fire LOS on the Frankie, but we can position it here repeat. instead. And now we do. This should be good. Heat sink destruction. We didn't do all that much internal damage there, but that's okay. Next up is the Grasshopper, also firing on that Frankie with a PPC. It did miss. I'd love to see the Stalker doing that too, but for now, our crossbow could very easily take it down. So let's position it here for the direct LOS. Go into ER LRMs, but I'm not going to fire the lasers because we may stray shot our mech. SRM ammo explosion there, destroying that left torso. The Frankie is now unsteady. And it's very low on armor across the board. So I want the Grasshopper to move up and fire on the Frankie. The Frankie is the obvious target at this point. So that's an arm destruction. And that's the Frankie dead. Fantastic. So now there were two. And that is a Rifleman, which has relatively strong rear armor and a wolverine which has relatively weak rear armor so yep. that means that we want to fire on the rifleman where we away. can i'm not going to fire these two medium lasers because i don't want a stray shot Ooh, that's an armor penetration on the rifleman already wow it's only in the arm that's still pretty good how's it going so our rifleman can position up over here and it's going to have some heat issues eventually but this seems fine for now. Ooh, okay. So we got a leg hit with one of those, and we destroyed the arm with the other. I like it. Has that stalker moved yet? It has not. Okay. So the Prowler moves up, also firing at that Rifleman, getting a bunch of damage that appears internal, but that is actually armor damage transferring into the torso. The Rifleman moves and fires on our Centaur and misses everything. I love it. Okay, so next up is going to be our Hoplite. The Hoplite is in an interesting situation here. I want to turn it. And I want to fire on the Rifleman with the Thumper Artillery. It's actually decent hit odds. Do it. Wow, that all clustered into that leg? And that was an engine destruction. Remarkable. This is going incredibly well. Okay, so the Wolverine moves up. Honestly, the Wolverine dies next round. Probably just to the Centaur, if I'm honest. So next up would be our Shadowhawk. And the Shadowhawk is not in a good spot to use the machine guns, obviously, with the Centaur right there. So I'm not going to fire the machine guns, but we'll fire everything else. Yeah, we hit two of those pulse lasers into the centaur. That's why we didn't fire the machine guns. Now that stalker is going to move, and it shoots side arc at the wolverine. Not a great hit there, if I'm honest. Okay. Well, we could very easily see the wolverine go away from this rear arc attack. Let's find out. Copy that. 
We missed the melee attack, which makes this much less likely. That's a clean miss. Structure exposure, gyro crit. Take but the Wolverine is still standing. Okay. That's fine. So this grasshopper moves up and fires and ooh, it stray shot our centaur with the PPC. Please don't do that. Okay, it did manage to hit the Wolverine with that one. Yep. Next up would be our hoplite, and I'm not going to fire the Thumper artillery for obvious reasons at this time. I'm on it. But we'll fire everything else. Good clustering into that arm. The Wolverine moves in phase 17. This is currently phase 19. The Fenrir moves up and doesn't do anything, but the Wolverine moves now. I really dislike that uh, PPC into our centaur there, but attacking the Black Knight here is completely fine. That means that it just dies to the Shadowhawk. Guaranteed. Whenever the Shadowhawk gets to move, which isn't yet, but we can position the Grasshopper here. Ooh, did we fail our sensor roll? These are low hit odds. We did fail our sensor roll. I'm not gonna bother firing the AC-20. We'll conserve the ammo on these hit odds, but everything else. I mean, the Wolverine dies to the Shadowhawk guaranteed. So this is fine. It's very softened up in that rear arc. Can we stop stray shotting the Centaur, please? That would be great. <laughs> I really want to move the Shadowhawk. It's phase 17 right now. The Rifleman moves. Honestly, maybe we don't even take this shot because of the Centaur there. And because I'm very convinced that that thing dies. The Trebuchet, we could absolutely take this shot since the LRMs aren't going to stray shot. Yeah, that seems okay. Well, now there's an allied unit moving, and which one is it? Okay. More LRMs into the Wolverine, including some internal damage there. Lucky okay. So he did lose game. his evasive. That's something, anyway. Next up is going to be our Black Knight. We can dip it out into the water over here. These hit odds are all very good, so I'm going to take those. Okay, good damage to the Wolverine there. And the pilot panics and ejects. Sounds good. So at this point, the crossbow is going to turn around. I kind of expect enemies to come in from the other direction. They will spawn after these movements all happen. So the Shadowhawk is going to turn around and come this way. Okay. So it's our turn right now. I don't think any enemies have spawned. Roger. I think we're just out of combat. Moving to position. Affirmative. Maybe they'll spawn after this round. On my way. Crossbow can stay where it's at. The Black Knight will turn around. We don't know where they're going to be, so we're just going to assume they're going to come from the other direction. This may be a good assumption, maybe not. These guys are eventually going to get into the escort zone, but they're definitely not there yet. So now where are the full attackers? They're here somewhere. Or, well, not yet. They will be here. There will be more. Almost certainly. There it is. Trace. Looks like enemy reinforcement. I hear it out to the left. Okay. There's also going to be some, like, there should be two lances that drop here. So we see a cavalry. We see a Valkyrie 2. Okay. That's an exciting one. We see a hunchback and we see a Zukov over this way. Where are the other enemies? Because there almost certainly are some. Right? Is that the only lance that spawned? Hang on a moment. That is the only lance that spawned that we know of. There might be sensor Order. updates that need to happen. For the time being, let's take our centaur out over this direction. And with their current... E oh, yep, there they are. They are up over here as well. So that's a Dragoon, a Pegasus, a Thunderbolt, and a Nighthawk. Okay. We're going to call it good with the Centaur for now. That Marauder 2 is closing in and firing on the Dragoon attack VTOL. It probably won't get any hits. At this range, with the 12 evasive that that thing has from spawning in, probably not. So... It's going to be interesting angling. 
we'll have to see what LOSs over here look like with these structures. The Valkyrie 2 is going to fire on this Grasshopper. That's fine. And we want these guys to absolutely make their way in. Okay. That Gauss Rifle barely missing the Dragoon Attack VTOL. Phase 19. So if they're smart, they'd hit the rear arc of the rear arc of this stalker, but they don't appear to be smart, so we'll see. They could easily take out the stalker with that rear arc attack. No doubt about it. This is going to be the Pegasus. Okay. What are you gonna do, Pegasus? Absolutely nothing is the answer. Okay. So we can get a pretty decent angle on all of these up over here. But I want to reserve. Their, their cavalry is going to move in this phase. As well as the Nighthawk. And that'll give us a few extra targets to focus on. I want to take down their helicopters with the crossbow. So that's going to be the overall idea here. Prowler is going to move up. It's probably going to pick someone to attack that it shouldn't. Yeah, the Valkyrie too. Okay. I mean, the Valkyrie 2 has moved, so that's a decent choice, all things considered. But I want this cavalry to move before our crossbow moves. So let's see what it does here. It will move either this one or the Nighthawk. It moves the Nighthawk. That's fine. Okay. For the time being, that's relatively okay. The next mover will be the cavalry. They're really kind of dumb to not go for the rear arc of the Stalker here. The Stalker is in serious danger, and I don't know why they've chosen not to. This is very, very strange. So the Fenrir is going to move out over this direction and fire rear arc on that Nighthawk. I love this choice. That was a really good choice. That could have easily killed that Nighthawk. Unfortunately, it didn't quite take it out, but it was very close. So next up, of course, is the Cavalry. And then we can start properly responding to all of this. They really should go for the rear arc of that Stalker, because if the Stalker gets turned around and moves back to here, it could do a lot of damage. They tagged our Centaur, okay, and lobbed a couple LRMs, but they chose not to move the Cavalry. So that means that the Cavalry is, like, super dead, right? If we position here, we have front... Okay, we have front arc on all of these. Sure, we'll just move up to here with our rifle. So, hit odds with the rifleman. 30%, 33%, 33%. 33 yeah, it's a little out of range. But we could definitely lob some pot shots at this... Uh, probably the Valkyrie would be our best bet here. We might stray shot the Stalker, but honestly, the Stalker dying would be kind of good for us because we might be able to salvage it so I wouldn't mind that I really want them to go for the stalker there unfortunately they chose not to for inexplicable reasons maybe they're planning to take it out with like the hunchback or something no the hunchback fires on the centaur and it actually hits both of those that's what a UAC 10 yeah, it's a UAC-10. It jammed, but that's fine. What can I do for you? Hit both of those on 10 evasive. I mean, they did tag it, so there is that. So the trebuchet is going to move up over this on direction, and we can start lobbing missiles basically where we want to. The hunchback is a really solid target here. And that's who we're going to hit. It. So we have a good armor reduction on the hunchy there. Looks solid. Next up is going to be what unit? This is probably their helicopter, given the frame rate. Yeah, the Dragoon Attack VTOL. There's a lot of places that the helicopter can potentially move, and that tends to tank the frame rate while it's calculating that move. So where are you going to go, bud? Going to go attack the Stalker? That's what I want him to do. He's positioned for it. Yeah, go for the Stalker. I, I keep hoping the Stalker will die. It hasn't died yet. Now, we can put our Hoplite right up over here. And who do we want to drop artillery on? I think the answer is the Cavalry in Flak Mode. 
Only 37% hit chance here, but let's take it. Why is this so low? Weapon accuracy plus 53. Okay, that's uh, kind of a lot. But target type minus 50. So yeah, shot modifier plus eight. Well, let's see. We do manage to get some hits on that cavalry. So that's reasonably fine. Next up, the stalker turns around and moves in, firing on the hunchback, and that's a lot of damage to that hunchback. This is an excellent target. I like that target selection. So next would be our Black Knight. And the Black Knight honestly can position about here and likely should also go for that hunchback. Primitive. Both of those hit the CT, which did not have any exposed structure there. But that CT is definitely significantly weakened from that. Thunderbolt moves up, fires on this medium military building. The medium military building actually has a lot of hit I'm points, ready. so that's okay for the time being. The Grasshopper, I would like to move down over here. Unfortunately, we are just out of range of that Hunchback. On my way. Checking Double the other back. hit odds, 10%, 8%, 24%. These aren't really worth taking, so I'm not going to fire with the Grasshopper. It's just slightly too far away. I was hoping the Sprint would get us in close enough. It's really close but not quite. The Zukov firing on this medium military building. They're putting quite a lot of effort into that medium military building. We need all of the buildings to survive if we want to get our bonus. So I'm gonna move the crossbow up over here. We could lob missiles at the hunchback. I don't think that is the target here. I think that the target here is this cavalry in Sam mode. Okay, so that's some armor chip down there. And then the Shadowhawk can sprint up to here. Probably the Shadowhawk fires on the Hunchback. This is only MRMs that are in range, but that is absolutely fine. Long. Hip destruction. The Hunchback is unsteady Four as of now. Okay. So next up is going to be our Got Centaur. The Centaur can absolutely sprint into about here or so. In fact here, directly behind the Stalker, and we could fire on the Hunchback. That would be basically a guaranteed kill, and I think that's probably the way to go right now. Now, I don't love the positioning of the Centaur this round. It's kind of in the way of things, but with the Hunchback down, we should be able to focus on things further to the north. Okay, I like shooting at the Cavalry here. It did manage to hit, so 52 damage into that cavalry is a pretty hefty amount. I want their helicopters shot down fairly soon. Eventually. Okay, so the Dragoon is moving forward, and that is now a really solid target for us. It decided to go for the Mjolnir here, which I love. Now, these guys haven't managed to turn on the turrets yet, but whatever. They're, they're slow. That's absolutely fine. Do we want to break cover with the trebuchet here? Seven evasive on the dragoon. I think breaking cover here is okay. We position here to get a little further forward, and we fire on the cavalry. Structure exposure there. The cavalry is so close to going down. Unfortunately, it's got a couple hit points left in this in this flank. That's very, very sad. We almost shot down the cavalry there. Now, I want to see the Fenrir continue to attack this Nighthawk. That was a good call. And I'd like to see it continue. Instead, it went for the backstab on the Thunderbolt. I don't love that choice. I mean, softening up the rear arc of the Thunderbolt isn't terrible. Don't get me wrong. But they could have gotten a kill on the Nighthawk. Almost certainly. Like, they would have broken the armor in multiple locations and then getting machine guns into that rear arc. Wait a second. Did he just expose his rear arc to us? No, that's his front arc. Okay, never mind. 
We definitely do want to get our centaur probably down over this way next round. But that's going to be the Valkyrie 2 firing now. And we'll see what it does, decides to do. Firing on the Stalker is kind of bad for us right now because it could stray shot us. Okay. They're continuing to attack this building, which we may or may not be able to save. But the Rifleman should head up into the water over here. We can fire on the Dragoon. We could fire on the Cavalry. But I think the hit odds are probably going to be best, yes, on the Thunderbolt. Copy that. Oh, that did not go well, despite the good hit odds. 60% hit odds, and we missed both BPCs, sadly. I do like choosing the cavalry there, and they shot it down. So that is excellent. Absolutely phenomenal, in fact. The Pegasus moves forward. It is, of course, a hovercraft, and so it can move through that deep water. I don't think it's actually on the surface, though. Okay. Well, it is time to put a cut in here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we are going to wrap this one up. There's a fair number of enemies left, and this is going to take a little while. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Andy McGar, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccer. Man 12 UK, Kintogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.